In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and pointers on how to triple your side hustle money. In some cases, you'll be able to five times it. In some cases, you'll be able to 20 exit. Everybody cool with that? Everybody want to make more money? If you want to make more money, put in the comments, hell yeah, I want to make more money. So let's begin. One of the first things you need to do is have intention. Many people start businesses or they'll start something with no intention to make it bigger. This is very, very important. This is critical if you want your side business to make more than average money. Let me explain. How many of you have started a business based upon a hobby? You were doing fine as long as it was a hobby, but the minute that you turned it into a business, it became a grind, it became difficult, it became a challenge. It was no longer fun. Many people have a problem with responsibility. When you move your side hustle from a hobby to a business and now you have to be responsible, all the fun goes out of it. But if you have intention, intention will change it up. Attention will give you more fuel. Intention will take your business from just a mere thought, from just a little hustle to you can actually make a lot of money. Intention. Now what is intention? What you're gonna do is write down your end goal and then work back from the end to the beginning. Many people know what they want and that's easy, but the steps to get in there, that gets tricky. Another thing you want to do is have a dedicated home office. Ever since I've been on YouTube, I've had a dedicated home office. I've had a basement, a spare bedroom, something. Now I have the basement and I actually have a regular office. Just having a space that you don't have to go in and quote reset. You could just get into it, start working, start making money. What's going to happen when you don't have a dedicated working space, you will spend 15 minutes to an hour setting up, getting in the mindset. This is a phenomenal um, um, amount of time wasted. And this is something that is so sneaky and so insidious that you don't even know that you're doing it. You don't even know what's happening. But if you already have a job and then you're wasting precious hours, setting up that's killing your money that's killing your momentum which brings me to the next point once you get momentum you can't let it go currently i am doing multiple launches and i have a lot of momentum so if i was to take like say two days off my momentum would just drop and then it will take literally 10 to 20 times as much energy to regain it so once you're in motion, you got to stay in motion. There is this thing that people want to relax. They want to chill out, take vacations, maybe go to Florida for the weekend. You could do that after the lunch. You could do that after you've got some money. You could do that after your five banking accounts have some money. Yeah, you could do all that then. But in the beginning, when you're getting this thing off of the ground, you got to max out. You got to hustle. You, you have to grind. And I, I really can't understate that because one of the things that has helped me, I understand how business works. When money is coming in, the last thing you want to do is relax. And this is what happens to the person who has a side hustle of a part-time business. They get some money coming in and then it's now it's time to take a vacation or it's time to check something out. Another way for you to triple your money with your side hustle is to reward yourself. But these are dedicated rewards. You're just not going to randomly take it out. What you're going to do is set a goal. You set a goal that if you reach 2,500 bucks by a certain day that you're going to now take that vacation. But see, this is one of the things that's going to that might happen because once that money starts coming in and then you exceed the twenty five hundred, you may not want to take that vacation because making money is fun. And this is one of the problems that average people 
who don't have this little quirk in them to make money. They don't understand. Once you start seeing that money come in, once your PayPal account starts binging, once your Stripe account starts binging, or you get this course notification, and you're just like, I got some money. I'm addicted to it. I'm a crackhead. What can I say? By having these dedicated perks with measurements and goals and predictable outcomes, you will literally crank up your side hustle. Hey, Glendon, what should I do? I'm going to tell you something and understand that this is said in love. You're not serious about making money because we have Google, we have Facebook, the Google machine, Bing. You should be doing all the research or running experiments on what you may or may not want to do. The fact that you're asking like, what should I do? You're just lazy. That's all it is to it. You're just lazy and you're never going to be successful. True story. Now, one of the things that you should do is have a written plan, not so much a business plan, but a guideline that's going to take you where you want to go. And it should be one page and it should have what's the name of your business. It should have who your target audience is. It also should have how are you going to communicate with these targeted audience and how are you going to make money exactly? Example, you're a painter. You, your target customer is someone that has three or more rooms that need to be painted. All right, how are you going to find these people? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. You must present yourself and position yourself where they can find you because you don't really know when people are going to need these rooms painted. So you must do marketing and advertising be on Angie's list or some of these other things. See, once you get intentional, once you start to think, ask yourself simple questions, what you're doing is being successful. Many people think the end result, which is you close the deal, you get the money, you're being successful. That's not success. Success is going through all of the little steps, all of the little quirks, all of the hassle that you need to do to make money that's success. That's where the success is. That is where people make money. It is in the testing. It is in the presentation. It is in the marketing. All of this stuff. It is flying by the seat of your pants into this unknown world of entrepreneurship. What you're doing is you're taking a leap of faith. Now, another way to make your side hustle make a lot of money, to make your side hustle really, really start pimping, is to track your activity and to track your money. Now, this is something that may be a little hard for y'all to do. For the first three or four months, all of your money from your side hustle if you don't need it to go back into the business, should go into an account, really five accounts. You should have an operating account, you should have a merchant account, you should have a savings account, you should have an expense account, and you should have an investor account. What you're gonna do is put 95% of the money in your operating account, and then 1% of your money in the additional accounts. And as your business grows, you're gonna put 2% of your money in these additional accounts. So once again, well, let me see, let me make sure you put 95%, then 1%, then let's say two, let's say 8%. So you'll put 92% into your operating account and then you will put 8% in your additional accounts. You do not want to go ahead and like, I'm going to ball out. I'm going to put 50% in there and then you need the money. So you take it out the account then you feel like a failure. So start small and scale up. Now what you're doing is training yourself to manage money when it's small. If you can't manage small money, you can't manage big money. This is how people who win the lottery get into trouble. 